Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Debsy, and the place to be, it's Debsy. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Channel, happy Monday. Hi, Jackie. Jackie's right down here. You can't see him, or maybe you can. Let's see. Where's Jack? Jackie, say hello to everybody. Okay, well, he doesn't want to say hello. Hi, Jack. Okay. So there we go. So I am on my break right now and I thought I would do a little man crush Monday. I'm trying to get Jack over here. Um, do a little man crush Monday. So today in honor of me starting the book, Daisy Jones and the six today's man crush Monday is going to be on Mr. Sam Claflin. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So Mr. Sam Claflin, Man Crush Monday, he was born on June 27th, 1986. That's only four days from yours truly, but I was born much, much earlier than he was. He was born in the town of Ipswich in Ipswich in Suffolk, 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 England. Probably that's how they pronounce it. He made his acting debut on the small screen in 2010. He was in two miniseries. Um, first one was The Pillars of the Earth, which I believe he was in that with Eddie Redmayne, possibly, and also in the miniseries Any Human Heart. He was also in a TV film that year, and it was called The Lost Future. 2011, he's on the small screen again in a BBC TV drama, drama, in a BBC TV drama series, Called United. I believe he had played a professional soccer player who had passed away. Um, and also that same year, he made his big screen debut. He was in Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, um, 2010. He was in Snow White, Snow White, <laughs> Snow White and the Huntsman. That I believe was with um, Kristen Stewart. Yes, please tell me in the comments if I'm right. I think so. Um, 2013, he was in The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. He played Finnick O'Dare. Um, in, he was also in two more Hunger Game movies, um, playing the same character. And that was in 2014 and 2015. 2014 was Hunger Games, uh, Mockingjay Part 1. And then in 2015, it was Mockingjay Part 2, which was the end of that whole franchise. Um, but going back in 2014, he was in, he was in quite a few movies. He was in four movies. He was in um, The Quiet Ones, The Riot Club, Love Rosie, and then as I had said, um, Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1. 2015, he was in Part 2. Um, 2016, he did yet another sequel, and this was to, um, this was to Snow White and the Huntsman. This was the Huntsman Winner's War. Um, also in 2016, he was in Me Before You. I believe that was based on a book by, I cannot remember. I saw the movie and I can picture the, did I read the book? I might have read the book. J.J. Moyes? I'm mispronouncing that. Please, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments and let me know who wrote it. Um, 2017, he was in the movie Journey's End. 2018, he was in Adrift. 2019, he was in Charlie's the Charlie's Angels movie. Um, and then another a movie, a TV show that he was in that a lot of people know him from uh, was Peaky. Peaky Blinders, Peaky Blinders. And that was from 2019 to 2022. 2022, he was in a movie called Book of Love. And then 2023, he, well, I believe probably in 2022, he was cast as Billy Dunn in the Amazon Prime series. And it premiered this year. And it is Daisy Jones and the Six. It's based on the best-selling book by um, Taylor Jenkins, Reed, who Taylor Jenkins Reed, Taylor Jenkins Reed, um, she also wrote um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I believe it's called, and I think that is going to be made into um, a movie as well. I'm not, I'm not saying he's attached to that, but I heard that is from the same author, and that's going to be made into a movie as well. But um, I believe that the miniseries Daisy Six 
a Daisy Jones and the Six. It was um, it was a book club choice from. Mm, it was a made a book club choice by Reese Witherspoon, and I believe she picked up the rights to it. And I believe that she's a producer on that. Um, I'm pretty sure she is. Um, charity work. He has. Um, he has. He was part of Soccer Aid, but he was also has worked with the charity, um, the Sporting Light Appeal. Um, interesting facts about Mr. Sam Claflin as a child. He wanted to become a pro soccer player, so he played so he played he played soccer er, in in England, as you know. It's called football. Um, he broke his ankle, his left ankle, in a match when he was eleven. Everything set up okay. He healed, but then turned sixteen. He broke his right ankle, so he thought, "Listen, I don't know that there's a future for me in this, so I'm just not going to do it." Hold on a sec. You might notice I'm taller, and that's because this chair that I'm in, that I work in, um, it obviously thinks that I'm that I'm six thousand pounds, and it just goes down like like real real low. So I had to I had to get myself get myself right with that. I'm back. Um, he did audition for a part for the. Uh, he auditioned for. The lead role in my week, was it my week with Marilyn? Yes, my week with Marilyn. Um, he lost out to Eddie Redmayne, um, who, as I said, was his co-star in, I believe it was The Pillars of the Earth. Eddie Redmayne went on to become a close friend of his and sort of kind of like, I don't want to say a mentor, but kind of. And even though Sam Claflin lost the role, the main, the, the main role, um, to Eddie Redmayne in that movie, he met his future wife because his future wife, um, Laura Haddock, she auditioned for the part of Marilyn, which eventually ended up going to Michelle Williams. Um, and they ended up get, getting married, not him and Michelle Williams, but Sam Claflin, Sam Claflin, Am I pronouncing that right? Please tell me if I'm not. Sam Claflin, please tell me if I'm not. But Sam Claflin and Laura Haddock ended up getting married. And then, unfortunately, six years after that, they had um, they had separated. Um, he also has a brother. His brother, Joe, is an actor as well. And he has absolutely no desire whatsoever to be in blockbuster movies. So... There we go. There's a little bit of information about Sam Cl Sam Claflin, Claflin, Claflin. Um, I'm going to put some pictures here of the gentleman. Uh, I doubt that you would protest, so I'm going to put it there. Um, I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, it's a day. <laughs> it's a day. Um, happy first day of spring. It's it's sunny and gorgeous outside. It's freezing, but nonetheless, it's sunny out. So hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, I'm going to watch The Bachelor tonight. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow since this week is sex week. Um, the what's <laughs> disgusting um, uh, with him. Anyways, and I'm a little shook. Because the mid-season trailer for Vanderpump, Vanderpump Rules came out. And listen, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a little bit of a, a little bit of a um, video on this later. But I'm not Team Sandoval. Not. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you that, 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 that mid-season trailer, Vanderpump Rules, makes you want to just go out and tip over like I don't know a car or burn down like a like a like a like a bus shelter or something. I don't know. So anyways, that being said, I hope everybody has a great rest of the day. If nobody else told you yet today, I love you. Your love sweet seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope and positivity out there. Please treat everybody with kindness. Please take care of one another and I love you guys and I will certainly see you tomorrow. Bye guys.